Hey everyone, welcome back to another iLogic video. Today I want to answer a question from one of my subscribers and what he's asking is that he wants to place a part from Content Center and he wants to be able to modify that part. And um, if you ever worked with Content Center parts, you might know that those files are kind of set in stone. So if you wanted to change the length, you would have to do a save as or a, a custom uh, when it comes to placing the Content Center parts. So that's what he's asking for. Or, uh, or that's what I believe he's asking for and I uh, hope, uh, hope you're, uh, I'm answering the question here today. Uh, so let's get started. So if I run this rule, uh, it's first going to ask me uh, the length of this channel. Uh, it first starts off actually um, by placing the 0 .001 millimeter profile and, and then I input the length. So let's say I wanted a 17 and a half uh, long channel. It does a save as on that channel and then um, if I open this part now, I can actually modify it. So if I uh, went here and I put plus 10 or something, it, it doesn't find me. So that's awesome. Uh, because I made a new file. That's the only reason why. If I try to modify this one, uh, this one's actually a content center, it's, it's going to give me a headache. All right, so let's go over the iLogic stuff. Uh, this portion, I went over it in a previous video, but I guess I'll go over it again. Uh, so I, I first start off by defining the, the um, content center language, and then I define the path of which this file is located in, uh, or this assembly file, so that when, I, when it comes to making a copy of this uh, channel, I know where to store it at. Right here, I define the component occurrence, the one that we're going to make, and right here I define the name and this name all that name is is this name that shows up right here uh, right here is where we add the components we define the define the name right here this is the path in the content center where that part is located at or the profile I should say the profile is located at this is the profile you want we want to use this is we need to give it an initial we, we uh, initial one so we have to specify just an initial uh, an initial content center parts so we start off with this one and then right here we kind of position it to nowhere or it doesn't matter where it is it's kind of just floating in space right here this is the variable bl and right now i have it as an input box but obviously depending on your logic you might want to suppress this and uh, you know hard code that into like a thousand uh, depending on what you're trying to do in, um, you might want to ask your user or you might want to place that yourself or you know hard code that in i don't know what your logic is um, right here the family name this is helpful when it comes to making the file name uh, so what I noticed when I look at this file name right here uh, the the content center one this is what it generated it generated the, the profile name uh, I mean the, the family name and then the profile and then the length of it so I kind of follow that same structure uh, but depending on how you want to file uh, save your file name as that's totally up to you what I did I did the profile and then the length so if we take a look at that section right here um, so this is the family name uh, oh you know what I forgot to put the file name or family name it depends on it, this is totally up to you on how you want to to save that file uh, so this is the file name that uh, is going to be this portion first followed by the designation followed by the length uh, whatever we decide the length to be so if it's like 50 it would be 50 uh, it would have that in the file name this is the whole location of the file the path and the file uh, right here um, I define the assembly uh, I define these two right here just to get um, the the old path file and extension and the reason why I need this is so that I can open that document uh, the old one, the, f the first one, and I can do a save as, and I can save that. Um, I can save that with the new file name. Uh, that's a little confusing. Um, hopefully, I didn't lose it here. Uh, this if statement right here is is checking the directory. It's seeing if that file already exists. Uh, so if it already exists here, it won't make a new one. Um, but if it doesn't exist. Then it's going to make a copy uh, and then right here we replace 
this component right here with uh, the new file pfe and the last uh, the last section is changing the value of that parameter so uh, OCC part name the channel is uh, and that parameter BL is equal to BL whatever we decided it to be up here um, hopefully it wasn't too confusing uh, but let me show you this before I, wa I wanted to show you this section right here and I'm gonna set this equal to true just to show you what this is doing uh, what this portion is doing it, it's taking the old path file name and then it's opening it, uh, opening that document uh, by setting it to true we're going to visualize that so if I run this uh, so first uh, so let's do 80 oh wait a minute let's, let's do another one let's do 70.5 it opens this file right here um, and if we do false we don't see that uh, let's do 70.75 we don't see it open but it's actually opening in the background now if we uncomment this this is where it saves that comp uh, that file alright so let's rerun this uh, let's give it 80.75 and um, yeah, hopefully this video was helpful hopefully that's what the the author was asking for and if it wasn't uh, please make sure to leave a question down below and if you have uh, if you haven't subscribed already please make sure to subscribe i make iLogic videos weekly and i'm pretty sure you can learn something from them all right talk to you guys later